positive civic awareness and consciousness. If you look at the Kenyan politics today, and I've been around, I've seen, I've seen these politicians move from one political party to the other. I've seen them work together. I've seen them oppose each other. I've seen them contradict themselves, say one thing with one side of the mouth and deny it with the other side of the mouth. And as long as they are capable of manipulating the population along ethnic lines, they will always succeed. So how do we solve it? By civic awareness. Is it easy? It is not easy because these individuals have now amassed so much money in an environment where there is great poverty so that any man or woman with ideas is not attractive to the electorate. The person who is attractive to the electorate is the man or woman who has a lot of money. That is why essentially countries in Africa, including Kenya, there is a lot of kleptocrats, people who are thieves. I dare say that in the Republic of Kenya, as in most African countries, 99% of the politicians cannot account for more than one third of their wealth. And I've, I can tell you this as a fact, I know, and if I look at them, all of them, they will not contradict me because they know I know. And therefore, if we are going to change this country, voices of reason, voices of goodwill must become louder and louder. Is it going to be easy to change? It is not, because there's going to be a fight back. When somebody has now gotten into public office and is enjoying the highest quality of life because of public office, will they leave it? You now have politicians who are essentially part-timers, but they enjoy pension. They enjoy free cars. They enjoy mortgages. But they continue, if they are lawyers, they continue to practice law. If they are doctors, they continue. If they are architects, they continue. If they are businessmen, they continue. So that what does the political office give them? Access. Is it not contradictory that in most of Africa, including Kenya, the richest individuals are politicians? The biggest industry is politics today. If you want to get rich quickly, abandon all these other things into politics. That is why it is a cutthroat competition in which throats are actually cut, literally cut.